In Fox 13 News coverage of flooding concerns, you've heard a lot about two rivers in particular lately. The Weber and the Ogden have been setting records so far this season. Fox 13 News anchor Max Roth joins us to introduce the men and women risking that runoff all to keep strangers alive. Hi, Max. Hello, Kelly. Yeah, you know, Ogden City Fire conducted swift water rescue training on the Ogden River today. It's dangerous work that needs a lot of preparation, and even that preparation puts them in harm's way. These rescue veterans know the risk as they float the narrow gap, the Ogden River flowing high under a bridge. And look at the high water flowing through stands of trees, get pushed against the trunks and branches. The water could break bones, steal your breath, and hold you under. So the best rescue is the one that never has to happen. Just stay back. I think that's the biggest thing you can do. The difference between life and death, an accurate toss from a well-chosen spot. Some people go through here and you're throwing through trees. It's a lot farther through, it's not really as good. Right here along the bank, there's a few good spots. Swift water rescue training starts on dry land. You're looking downstream, river left, river right. A spotter upstream gives a shout. The rescuer with the rope has to understand. So they drill the terminology. Why would we do that instead of north or south or east or west? The river's bend. Yeah, river's change direction, right? So we keep everybody all on the same page. What you see on land isn't new. Beautiful. The training doesn't change from year to year. You're going to get a feel for it. This high water is different, though. It adds to the danger and to the draw. Some see it as a challenge. We have people recreating in the water. Kayakers are enjoying this high water flow. Other people are just curious. They've seen it on the news, that the water is flowing, and they come to just check it out. They're curious. This is one small slice of a strenuous stretch of training. We do this three days to get all of our shifts covered. Grab the rope! Three days braving swift moving near ice cold water. Well, well, another thing that Captain Sean Waller asks you to remember, in a water year like this one, the river banks, they get waterlogged and they can give way if you stand too close. Live in studio, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.